In the previous video, we've seen an example of how we can use the reduction formula. In this video, I'm going to ask you not to be over-reliant on the reduction formula. So, for example, when faced with something like this, here you've got um, one block multiplying with another block. Because this is even and even, you, we, uh, we can make use of this to change this, to change this block in uh, all in, in terms of secant. Or we have the ability to, uh, to change this block to work all in terms of 10. So when, when, when you have an even power, even power, we can make use of this to, uh, to change this block into all 10, or we, can, or we can change this block into all secant. So, um, so let's, let's, let me just illustrate the point here. Um, so visualize this block here as uh, 10 squared to the power 3. We can make use of this um, and, uh, um, and, uh, and change this block here to work all in terms of secant. So here, this, this 10 block has been turned into a block containing all secant. And then to the power of 3, to the power of 3, that will then give you this. And then uh, this thing, the, the point I'm trying to make is that because this is an even power, we can turn this block all into, um, into secant. And then, and, then, and then we can use the reduction formula for secant and then eventually work out the, uh, the, uh, the integral. So for example, um, this thing here to the power of 3, multiply it out, it will then give you this. So now, um, now, so now we can get this times this, that will be secant to the power, sorry, we can get this times this, that will be secant to the power of 10. So we can use the reduction formula to work out uh, secant to the power of 10, uh, dx, and then for same goes for all of these, but then it's a lot of work. So rather than the point I'm trying to make is rather than using the reduction formula, um, we you should um, you should you should thrive for something like this. Try and obtain something being the exact derivative of another thing. So rather than using rather than turning this block into secant and then use a reduction formula, um, try to thrive for this. Try and obtain something being the exact derivative of another thing. So, for example, let's break this block into two blocks, this and this. And then now we, we, we have the ability to change this into all 10. So this block here is, is all 10. This is secant. We, we have the ability to change a secant squared into a block that contains all 10. So now, now this block here contains 10. This block here only contains 10. So the combination of the two is all in terms of 10. And then this thing here is the exact derivative of 10. So here you've got the exact derivative of 10, um, and then and then you've got 10 here. So so this is the exact derivative of this. So the point I'm, I'm trying to make is that this is the exact derivative of something that only contains 10. So now that will then take you to here, and then uh, because this is the exact derivative of uh, of 10, uh, let u uh, let uh, let u be 10 of x. So du equals this. So, so dx equals this. So now when you put this into here, into here, then, then, then this being the exact derivative of 10 will cancel out with this secant here. So these two will cancel out, leaving you with, um, with this. So now you can easily integrate this. So that will then give you this. Okay.